Welcome to AWS Test Drive with CQ5. AWS Test Drive provides a private IT sandbox environment that contains pre-configured server-based solutions. In this test drive, you can experience the integration between AEM and Apache Solar, a solution that demonstrates the best of breed content management with superior search capability. AEM 5.6.1 has built-in support for searching within the content repository which itself is based on Apache Lucene. While this out-of-the-box search functionality can cover most of the use cases for scenarios that have huge and complex search requirements, running the search queries against the repository can start to degrade the site's overall performance. Also, complex search queries may be slow to return results using AM's native search functionality. There are certain advantages of using Apache Solar as a standalone search server. First, it provides the advanced feature set which is not natively available in CQ, for example, geospatial search, advanced configurable text analysis. Second, it can help in integrating well within those organizations that already have indexed their data in Apache Solar using various data sources. Also, for high traffic sites where search requirements is more in complex, having a separate search engine allows for adding more search capacity. This test drive is for those who are looking for integration of Apache Solar with AEM. In this screencast, I'll demonstrate the steps to test this application. Basic understanding and working knowledge of site admin interface is required. When your instance gets launched, you'll see this login screen. Enter the username as solar-user, password as solar-user. Click on the sign in. You will see this welcome screen. Navigate to site admin. To Geometrics EN hierarchy. There you will see this solar search page. Click on this page. You will see this text box and submit button. Enter the text that you want to search. And click on the submit button. You will see the results getting loaded. It also supports visiting. We can play around with the results. Since CQ also supports permissions, our test drive applications also so support permissions. As in, our results gets filtered on the basis of users' privileges. So we have considered two use cases. First is to search the publicly visible content, which is visible to all the users. Second is to search for the protected pages. For this, we have used the concept of closed user group. So if a user who belongs to the close, closed user group is logged in, he or she will be able to see the protected results in the search result page. So we'll qu quickly test it. First, to test for the first scenario, we'll create the page in Geometrics EN hierarchy. We'll name it as public facing. We'll create this page using Geometrics content page template. Open this page. Drag and drop a text component in the passes. Add some text in this text component. After editing the content, activate this page. After activation, the content will be indexed in the solar server. We'll quickly check it. Change the port number to 4503 and open the test solar search page. Enter the keyword that you have entered in the text component in the public facing page. Say IntelliGrape. Click on the submit button, you will be able to see this page. 
नाओ गो बैक टू साइट एडमिन इन द इवेंट्स हिरा की यू हैव ऑलरेडी इनेबल्ड सी यू जी फॉर दिस हिरा की ऑल द पेजेस एंड इट्स सब पेजेस आर प्रोटेक्टेड सो विल क्रिएट अ न्यू पेज अंडर इट विल रिपीट द सेम स्टेप्स क्रिएट अ न्यू पेज नेम इट एज प्रोटेक्टेड पेज ओपन द पेज ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप द टेक्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट After editing the text, activate this page too. Now go back to search solar search page. Again, click on the submit button. Will not be able to see this page because a user, a valid user, is not logged in. Logged in. On the top right corner, there is a sign in link. Click on this link and enter the use credentials. Solar Secure member is a valid user for which CUG is enabled. Password is also Solar Secure member. Click on the submit button. Go back to Solar Search page. Type in the text in Telegraph and click on the submit button. Now I am able to see this protected page because the user is logged in now. this is all about these two scenarios thanks for watching this screencast for any queries related to this test drive you can mail us at secure.testdrive@intelligrep.com thank you